good times lie ahead with company worth keeping that a bash a smile on your head come on in the doors open you'll find just the finest folks here pull up a chair grab a drink and let the dark stories your ear cause we're the talk 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 in the tavern here you're always welcome the talk 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 in the tavern promising beer and bed love the talk Music, medicine, then some The talk, 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 the tavern The song's over Here we come yeah, Welcome to Talk of the Tavern It is Monday, April 8th, 2019 I'm your host, Travis And tonight I am having some Bowman Brothers Port Barrel Bourbon <gasps> Yep, Port Barrel finished It's pretty good It's good it, it, it is um, I tell you what, though, Ed, I've been really enjoying that Henry McKenna. And good evening, Toey. How are you? Toey. Hey, Toey. Can you taste the port in the port barrel bourbon? God, I can't say that. I'll, I'll let you know in a second. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah, I was going to try and put let me uh, do this here. I'm writing down things as we go. We're going. Um, I'll introduce the other two in just a moment. I want to let everybody know. You know what? Let me introduce them. That way, we have more people here to let them know about stuff. Let me uh, start. Oh, sorry. Hold on a second. <laughs> it's Twitch. Sorry, commercial. She pulls it up on her phone because of our internet challenges and of course when she pulls up the channel so she can reply to your guys' chat. There's an ad and yeah. it's loud. Uh, she's got to mute us and then the ad kicks in which the muting doesn't fucking work on. Okay, so uh, right, Ed, what do you got tonight? Um, I have what I got tonight. Uh, Bold Rock Part of Cyber. Yeah. Okay, okay. You got to work tonight? Oh, no, 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 no. Good. Can you pull your mic just a wee bit closer or lean in a little yeah. bit? Is that better? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, that's just better. lean in on it. <laughs> See, I don't want to keep turning my volume up and then have you reflecting back through or getting an echo or right. whatever. Uh, Andrew, right. what do you got over there? <laughs> How many do you want to know about? Um, well, I have my knitting. I just started. Hopefully, I'll finish this hat. I got T, Superman. And... I have my pre-wine, which is grape juice, and ginger ale. I only have three. Basically, she had all this stuff in the fridge because she doesn't drink a lot at one time. <laughs> and then uh, we went grocery shopping today, and I was loading the fridge. She points at, like, the three things in the fridge going, I'm going to drink all those today. So. No, I have to. Get to it. Yeah. <laughs> We're watching. It's, uh, I guess I should look at her here on the camera You're instead of turning around. It's, uh... Stop looking at me. <laughs> so, so tonight's topic was one of three different things. Um, but as we discussed, or more more appropriately, didn't discuss, I threw up the couple of ideas, and, and nobody really jumped at any of them. So I'm like, okay, well maybe don't drag those in if nobody's interested. Otherwise, it turns into the one where we did the celebration of Jim Henson, or graphene. I told you I liked all three of them. Huh? I told you I liked all three of them. Cool. It's, I don't know if everybody was busy today or... Oh, hold on. We got somebody else coming in. Uh, we get to tech the chat here. Um, there was a thunderstorm. Right. So we've got sort of a picture here. Get that out of your pants. Uh, or something. Well, I'm going to keep talking until she gives me a thumbs up. That's Elizabeth attempting to join us. If she gives me a thumbs up, we will take her call. Um, if she disappears, I'll switch back to the three screen. <laughs> we'll work it out. And Kevin should be in any minute also. I, so, I'm good with a threesome. What's that? Threesome. Threesome. threesome there force. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, oh, yeah. By the way, can you tell all your, 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 your brothers that don't believe all the fucking hype? Your dick ain't that big and not all the white women want you. Can you just pass they that on? What's that? They don't? Oh, no, they want you, Ed. Just not Oh. Me. <laughs> okay. We all yeah, yeah. This is why I said, Ed, can you realize? I, I didn't say that. I said, can you tell your brothers? 
But see, everybody wants it to be like Ed, so. It just, dude. Yeah, but they're going about it wrong. Yeah, some of these guys <laughs> who are literally taking pictures of themselves uh-huh. butt naked and then holding their phone up to white women with that picture on it, going, hey, look. The fuck? <laughs> and also, if you're going to flash somebody, really just have the balls to actually flash them. Flash your balls. Yeah. You know, that way we know you didn't sell fluff, you know, whatever. Anyhow, as for topics, else fluff. this all yeah, relates to like current events. That's a good topic right lives. there. What's that, Ed? You sound like a good topic right there. Fluffing? Fluffing Wait, yourself? See, or? I, the, the whole thing, you know, educating know brothers that all white women don't want them. Um, you know, well, the thing is, I think, <clears throat> especially we're, we're not in the 80s, so it's not necessarily a rebellious thing to sleep with somebody of a different ethnic background anymore. It's actually interest. They're actually interested. So here's the bottom line. Some people You're like not pale. You're anymore. They have to really like you. Right. And some people like pale people. Some people like tan people. Some people like dark people. I like mine to glow in the dark. <laughs> you like those, those olive-skinned men with the dark hair and tall and broad shoulder. I know what you like. I, well, that's because they come in furniture. Well, that's very true. Oh, wait, I think I actually heard something from Elizabeth. There was. I don't know. We're going to give her another minute. Um, but, yeah, we could do that topic <laughs> for five or ten minutes. That's damn sure. <laughs> it's just, yeah, and it really goes out to all men everywhere. Don't <clears throat> fucking think you're all that. And just because you're getting older and persnickety like Ed and me, and you can say shit that you want to say and not worry about repercussions or not give a damn what somebody thinks. That doesn't mean you have to be an asshole or doesn't invade people's personal territory of space. <gasps> that's right. Yeah. It's, uh, that's one reason why I'm very comfortable with Ed's flirting. Because Ed, A, can be a fucking professional when he wants to. Yeah, he can. B, he's not coming at the women hands first and mouth second. He's no. talking a game. <laughs> And from there, well... Then it's hands first and mouth second. I'm guessing, Ed, from everything I've known about you, you know about consent. I'm just guessing, though. I could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. Damn it. (laughs) That's right. They keep on asking you, are you sure, Ed, you want to do this? (laughs) (laughs) Elizabeth, should we start talking to you now, or you need another minute? It'll be okay. Can you hear us? Maybe she can, and she's like, this. <laughs> she might be switching cameras. I suspect she got some new equipment. <laughs> Is that a penis not reference? Like, not like Bruce. <laughs> look at the camera. Don't look at me. Really? No, I wanted to make a reference with, oh, hey, there's Cavalon. Chris, thank you. Hard Chris. no. What are you hard knowing? Oh, from Elizabeth. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to keep going until she gives me a thumbs up and lets me know she can hear us and see us. <laughs> I need. I probably need to go back to that rule that if we're not teched by quarter till, we don't do the show or that person. Because I know I've done that before, and it hurts feelings, but then again, maybe I don't give a damn anymore. I don't know. I don't give a fuck. So, uh... Yeah, basically, we were going to do homebrewing stuff today. But then with all the tech issues and not knowing when's coming on and with blah, 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 we decided, you know what, let's just scrap that because it's a shaky basis right now. And we're going to just talk about, you know, what we want to talk yeah. about. So we're going to bring up topics. And you want me to write that one down, Ed? How do you phrase that one as a topic? Which one? Step Tell back, me. black man. <laughs> You know what? As a white guy hosting a show, I cannot fucking put that title. Uh, For no other reason than they'll ban me from Twitch. It should be able to get in uh, When that was on the table, but when I put it into the chat between all of us, Ed had that one comment I mentioned to you yesterday, and not much else. Here comes Kevin. Up here comes Kevin. Let's switch our screen. So <coughs> without up, my brother people showing interest I went well we're not going to bring that up okay now hold on a second Elizabeth can you hear us no okay I assume Elizabeth cannot hear us 
Oh, now she's saying yes. It's okay. Good, yeah. Can we hear you? Yes. Not you, Kevin. Hold on. You are not Elizabeth. <laughs> Hold on, that's Wanka. You're right. Wank. Uh, I kind of heard I you heard there. Wank. We heard you wank. <laughs> uh, I have a. I don't know. I'm speaking right now under a mic. I'm talking to myself. Okay. You're very quiet, super quiet, and also you're out of sync. It's, it's like a martial arts. <laughs> Tell me about it's, it. No it's shit. like a bad porn soundtrack. <laughs> not that I would know anything. I tried something. Well, you're not is out of sync because your microphone is too far away. But yes, you're louder now. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, and you actually seem to be syncing up now, which could be your internet thing Yay. catching up. We'll see how it goes. Kevin, let's play with you. Don't play mm. with that. We got some sound from you. You can hear us. You can see us. One, two, three, four. Okay, don't go any higher. Tell the people what you want. <laughs> I hear you fine. Do you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You're good. Sorry about that. It's all good. It's, uh... So, let's... Thank you for making my boss's night, by the way. That cheered right now, and... He's like, that's the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. So, is she watching now? She might be. I don't know. Uh, Charlotte, are you I there? I messaged her the link. Hi. Oh, Hi. are you watching us, Charlotte? And, and Charlotte, if you are watching and you can't comment, you do have to follow the channel first. So. No, okay, she hasn't looked at the link yet. Okay. We we'll see. She's probably. She's probably. She's on the same. Well, she was about 10 minutes ahead of me leaving the bus depot tonight, so she's probably not long been in the door herself, so... Got it. Ed, I'm going to try switching us over to Central, just because okay. everybody's kind of moving a little jerky here. Okay. Everyone's we here. need to just start doing this, because... Okay, let's see if everybody comes back a little less of a... <laughs> God, we lost Elizabeth altogether. Aw. You... There she is, yay! Yay! Okay. So, Elizabeth, let's introduce you first. Why don't you tell the good people at home what you're having tonight? All right, I can't tell what's going on on my screen, so I'll <laughs> fly oh, blind. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Tonight, I will be drinking water. Water. Cheers. Very good. What about you? What about you, Kevin? Uh, tonight, I will be smoking drum hand rolling tobacco, and I'm currently drinking nothing. Because I've, I've put the kettle on, and I've not even gone and made a cup of yet. That's how much I missed you all. Is it, is it done? Do you want to go grab a cup real quick before we get rolling? Too oh, in a minute. Yeah, in a sec, yeah. It's, uh... I just wander away. Yeah, if you see me just like, drift off screen in a minute, I've gone for caffeine. Or passed out on the floor, one of the two. Entirely possible. If I pop out on the floor, keep it down a bit, will you? I've got an early start. <laughs> what time are you getting up in the morning? Uh, I'm leaving at 7.30 a.m. And you're staying on here till 3? Okay. Absolutely not. <laughs> but, you know... Me, irresponsibly staying up till the small hours of the morning when I have a 12-hour shift tomorrow, as if. Well, well frankly, you know what, they're... why are they doing this to you? Because... Oh, this is, stan this is standard, mate. That is six the thing is, hours at your home, right. maximum. Yeah. Yeah. It's not even enough for a night's sleep. Nope. But the difference between my shift finishing and my shift starting the next day is reasonable. It's the extra time it takes me to travel from where I work to where I live. That's their argument. What also, did, what time did your shift normally end? in this? Uh, well, my shift finished. My shift in theory should have finished at ten tonight. That's what I was rated to. But there's only two buses away from the pub at that time of night. One at ten o'clock and one at midnight. So if you miss the ten, you won't leave until midnight, which is just what happened tonight. Which kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. I don't know what to tell you. 
Nothing that this, you don't this already is, know. This is why whenever this is back why back when I was running the taking care of running the pub. That's why I always used to be late for the show, like I am tonight, because I had to be there till midnight. Because obviously the pub doesn't shut till eleven, and you've got to cash up afterwards. Tonight it just sucked because we we're a bit understaffed. So. so you were supposed to leave at ten and be able to catch your bus, or they just cut you off. At 10 and no, 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 no. I didn't. My, in theory, if everything had gone according to plan and we had the right number of staff in, there's no reason why I shouldn't have finished and left at ten. But we didn't, and I didn't. So you can. Yeah, it does suck. And also, well, this will all change soon. Not a lot of people have started to think about it. But um, there is a thing in the EU called the EU Working Time Directive, which legally stipulates the amount of hours your employer must leave between end of work one day, start of work the next day, how many hours in a, in a day you can work, how many days in a month, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, all of that kind of thing, unless you work in hospitality, in which case it's exempt. Really? Because it's good class. Because it's classed as what's known as irregular working hours. It's outside of what most businesses would consider to be their normal trading hours, say mm. ten in the morning to ten in the evening. You think it would so be more that, important to something with irregular working hours you, than you a would, bank? You would think so. Yeah, you would think so, but ironically, in this country, nearly every profession can, you know, if, if, if anybody else's boss did that, they could go to them and go, ah, sorry, EU working time directive, minimum of nine hours between the end of one shift and the start of the next. Me, there's nothing I can do about it. I've spent most of the last 14 months getting home at one o'clock in the morning and getting up and leaving at half seven, half eight. But that's just bad management on their part. And no offense to your boss, well, I'm just saying you... Mm -hmm wear your employees down doing that. This is a fact. Mm -hmm. You you yep. burn your employees out, you end up having to train more people more often, as well as having better employees that hang on. This is not a good business Which practice. Makes your customers go away I, I'd just like to state for the record, just to avoid any confusion between comments I may make to you guys off air, that Charlotte, that you guys said hi to earlier, who may be watching tonight, is my assistant manager. Well, I know you said boss. It's uh, Yeah, she, she and, is my boss. Yeah. And, and, you know, when you, I think we've all been in that management position as well as the underneath management all the way down to the low rung. And we I've, understand I've why... Management. What's that, Ed? I've been underneath management. <laughs> How is the mistress? I like She's being good. under management. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes under new management. Um... <laughs> But we just... So, we, we Ed, I'm curious. Yes. Does that class just taking a tea break? Ooh, good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite sharp for me for this time of night. What's wrong? Yeah. <laughs> we, we know our immediate bosses don't do it to be... For, for any cruel reason. They do it because they need to do it. But Their bosses are making them do it. Most. Most of them. Yeah. Yeah. So anyhow. It's, uh... Okay. This, this, week, this week, one of my bosses, and I won't say bitch, but it wasn't Charlotte, it was the other one, <laughs> uh, used the highly professional phrase to me, look, I don't care about your fucking opinion, and if I have to be a cunt, I'll be a cunt. I don't know whether we're proud of ever using the word cunt twice in three words in a sentence, or, or appalled that this was in an official meeting. <laughs> Hmm. And, and this person said it to you? Yep. But what were you being a cunt about? Oh, what well, was I? <laughs> it wouldn't be that five hours between shifts, would it? <laughs> yes, Elizabeth? No. Does, uh, does her name badge say cunt on it? <laughs> no. No, it doesn't. I mean, not That'd yet. Be a good Christmas gift. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving prison. Yeah. Thank you, Ed. Something to remember me by. <laughs> I wonder if the bit goal will go up. Mm -hmm. I, might shit in a, I might shit in a jar and give it to her as a leaving present. 
and cover it with gold. <laughs> I just say, in, in, in my entire tenure working for you, you apparently couldn't find one of these to give about my career. So this is for the next guy who's got a problem you don't want to deal with. There you go. Merry fucking Christmas. Mm -hmm. Charlotte, if you're not watching, you fucking should be. You'd be rolling the eyes laughing. <laughs> See, and this is kind of shit attitude you get when you treat him like crap. <laughs> he must like her. He told her about the show. That's true. See, Charlotte has been involved with the hair for quite a while now in both of them. Do you guys remember when my manager fucked off in the middle of last year and I get left, I got left holding the horse for a while? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Charlotte, Charlotte was the other manager who was working, running a nearby venue who was popping across and helping me all the time. The one who was either on the phone for anything I didn't know how to do, et cetera, et cetera. So she's been involved with this for quite a while before she joined us at the end of last. And her other half, Rob, is our head chef who I've worked with for 18 odd months now. So... We know each other quite well. She knows all about the show. Whenever she gets the chance, she tries to make sure I'm either on an early Monday or a late Tuesday morning to compensate for the fact she knows I'm doing this. That's good. You just came up in conversation tonight. She's like, oh, I suppose with the late finish, you won't be doing the show tonight. I was like, fucking right, I will. <laughs> they just fuckers think they're getting out of it that easy. Us or them? Yes. Thought so. So, anybody have anything exciting or interesting happen in the past seven days? I got a car. Oh, you want to talk about that a little? Oh, oh cool. I'm ne I've always paid cash for a car. This time I financed the car. And everything works on it. You don't have to fix anything before you drive it. I'm an adult now. <laughs> <laughs> Exhibits not shiny. knocking on your front door, no? <laughs> it's shiny, so. Cool. Um, well, most of her vehicles have been like white or a dull matte looking color so they didn't catch the sun this one catches the sun and glitters and makes birds poop on it apparently yeah damn birds oh, they they don't like one size. Taste. i have to watch it tomorrow what's that elizabeth <laughs> they've got good aim and good taste mm. well if you cook them right Mm. Yeah, but if you just spot weld the nearest street light to the bodywork of your car, they'll do that for themselves as soon as they try and land. Oh. I, I, I don't know if you're going to be able to there drive a, very was, far if you're spot welded to a street light. No, this is true. There was a, there was a guy who prosecuted on the Isle of Wight about 10 years ago because he lived in a remote village and he was so fed up with people breaking into the cars along his road that he did exactly that. He broke into a street lamp, ripped the cover off of it, and then hooked the mains electric supply to the street lamp and ran the wires to the bodywork of his car and then wired them up to the bodywork so when they went to drive his car door they got electrocuted with mains electricity fortunately he gave the guy a heart attack <laughs> so I'm, I'm curious how do you undo that in the morning when you got to go to work rear wire off you just you, you when you spot weld it you just just you spot weld the wire somewhere on the inside of somewhere like the wheel arch. You just reach up in the morning and just tug the wire. Okay, yeah, just make sure you don't touch it. Won't see it you know? Yeah, just, yeah. Obviously, yeah, with some care, I reach up blindly and grab hold of mains electricity. But... That'd be even, you know, more ironic if he <laughs> you know, went to, to death. <laughs> don't tell you what to do. Okay, fine. I like reaching out and grabbing men. <laughs> Preferably not by the inside of their wheel arch, is they? Well, you know. <laughs> I've got an old traveller, mate. It's cat's called wheel arch. Because when he used to live on the road, that's where it was used to stick to catch the sun. He used to climb up on top of the tyre where it was warm and sit on, on the top of the tyre under the wheel arch mm -hmm. with his van. Mm -hmm. I had something kind of fun happened today uh, and this we're still talking about the car i can't tell no, internet choppy well last week i noticed uh, when i went swimming there's uh I'm, I'm changing times i'm swimming so it's very early in the morning and there's very young children in the pool and you know, they have to wear diapers there was one little girl and she had two mermaid dolls with her like barbie dolls and she's sobbing and crying and she'd been waiting with her mother the long pots got going she changed her mind and chickened out and, and 
tried to get her in the water. They tried to have fun with her, and she was not having it. And I just stood there, and I just felt such empathy for her. But she and her mother are waiting, and I thought, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see what I can do here. And so I just waved at her. I showed her, I packed the bag. I had all this communication with her from a distance. And then I did a big cannonball into the pool. <laughs> made a big splash, came up. And uh, I noticed, and I went ahead and did my swim. I kind of showed her things I was putting on, like my goggles, my cap. And uh, I kind of noticed she got in the water. She didn't seem to be screaming the entire time or sobbing during her lesson. And at the end, her mother, was walking her back and she made sure to stop by my lane and thanked me for making it a really pleasurable experience for her daughter and she said oh she just got so excited when she saw you jump in the pool there you go you know when you serve your purpose things work yeah you don't make any money but <laughs> <laughs> i don't make any money anyway <laughs> Yeah, it'd be nice if my purpose was to make money, but apparently not so much. I'm um, just going to be two seconds. I'm going to go make that coffee. I'll be right back with you. Okay. That okay. little girl is so cute, though. She was just a jelly bean with the little ruffle bathing suit skirt on. Oh. Elizabeth, rub your mic for me. Okay. That's the one you're using. I'm just hearing somebody's mic rubbing on something, and I'm not sure whose it is. That was probably... Oh no, it was like five minutes ago yeah. and continuous since then. It's hard. That's it. <laughs> See, I can hear it on your ear. I hear it on your ear. Okay. okay, that's good. We got the joke. Stop now. <laughs> Did you catch all that, Bob? Oh, uh, I don't is Bob think here? I don't think Bob is here. You? He's here. He's in there. Is he? Uh, he I'm might sure be just private message. He, he might not want attention drawn to him. Well. Bob. Bob's very shy. <laughs> <laughs> Bender's up there, though. That's been a while since I've seen you get. There you go. And Gary popped in, and Gary, and Jewel, and Jamin. I'm guessing they're both there. If one is there, the skipper. So, let's do an opening toast. Sure. Yeah, let's do that. I have a couple drinks. Got right, <laughs> anything that will get a drink that will clink? Here's to full refrigerators and pantries. God, they're beautiful things. Yeah, the one that clinks, not the <laughs> plastic. <sighs> Thank you, Bender. I appreciate it. It's, um, basically, a few of us have gotten lights for behind us. Chris, who's normally on Monday nights with us, is not on tonight, but he has sun too. Elizabeth kind of started it. Chris moved on. Andrea does it when she's in her own room. But yeah, I just, I still need to get it pointed just right to we'll figure it out. really have a, a good effect. Um, but we'll see. It's, it's one of those outdoor lights that you buy for 75 cents on clearance after the season. Mm -hmm. But they cost like $30 <laughs> in season, but they're just a cheap piece of plastic. Mine has <laughs> spiders. Yeah, does, does this mean I've got to break out my disco balls? <laughs> you can break any balls you want, man. Yeah. <clears throat> I have two. See, I feel like I need... You'll be glad to know. Let's see how you do this. Need disco balls? What are you doing? Who doesn't have disco balls kicking around? Surely we've all got some in the loft. No. I jest. I'm not even sure why I've got them, Ed. I think I bought them for something and they never got used. I've got two of the things. Bloody rotate, colour changed, all this and the other. They've just sat in the loft since I've got... No, I think it's better the other way. He's playing with his ball. I totally blame on my ball. <laughs> there we go. And the giraffe, our light chaser, is very interested. He's like, oh, there's a light on this ceiling. Let me get it. See, it's you can actually kind of make out the skyline of the city I painted on the wall. Just behind my pipe collection there. Behind me. I did have to tear Wolverine down yesterday. Why? Because his head was ripped. Why did when that happens. He, yeah, he wasn't regenerating. I checked. <laughs> I was going to say, can you just wait a little bit and it would regenerate? Yeah, no. no, I totally, I was all like. <laughs> Jamin has um, five or six balls. 
<laughs> Disco balls. Please be more specific. <laughs> Jamin, how big are your balls? Well. So I, I take it with your damaged Wolverine that there is no built-in repair clause. No, but I have one, I have a Wolverine claw on my wall in my other room. <coughs> well done, both yeah. of you. Oh. It's, uh, yeah, I'm curious if Jamin's disco balls are teeny little balls or huge balls, and if they float. me stop it stop it stop it <laughs> doesn't she look cute you want to show off your dress oh yeah okay wish.com oh, i guess it's fun stop elizabeth <laughs> <laughs> all right wait a minute can you see it on well you can see it on your camera it, right go that side of your chair yeah you can see it on my camera look i'm cute see nice look here dress. that's how much the audience is seeing <laughs> Lean forward a little. God. Make me get up. No, just lean forward. Oh, wait. There you go. There you go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> All right, throw the bits now. <laughs> is, Bob, is Bob, are you okay? I mean, you could text Ed the answer if you don't want to talk to us. I think he just fell on the floor after that. Well, something probably hit the floor. <laughs> it's, a, it's quite a range of balls you have. Sparkly, sparkly balls. Six to sixteen inches. Holy shit. Do they float? Oh, it's funny when you say it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I was watching um, Ricky Gervais. He does a, a comedy thing on Netflix called Humanity. He was talking about his balls. Go watch it. His testicles to be... Yeah. I'm sorry. The t yeah. That's a technical term, testicles. Well, I mean, we're saying you're talking about disco balls and all these other balls. And well, I... And bits. Bits and balls and bits and balls and bits and balls and bits and balls. And bits and what? It's a new music video we're going to do. Oh, God. Yeah, it is. So, Elizabeth, you want to help us make a parody commercial? Strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. <laughs> Penis. Penis. She's ignoring. Wow. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Is everybody offended? Oh, Ed. <laughs> I can't hear you. You. Um, two things. I was talking about the Henry McKenna earlier. You have to yeah. push the button, Elizabeth. With a few drops of water, it's incredible. Oh, man, I didn't make okay. Elizabeth mute, did I? It, she says she's not muted. She's like, look, I'm just going to mime the whole fucking show. I feel like there's going to be a lot of one finger miming going on. <laughs> oh, apparently in Italy. Galileo Don't make any promises. Middle you're not going to keep. On display. Yeah, well, on that size, Elizabeth, come back and talk to me. <laughs> She'd like one that size. Can you give her a hand? <laughs> so we're going to talk about Elizabeth tonight. <laughs> it's a. Uh... So, uh, yeah, Henry McKenna, you should give it a try, especially for a 1.75 liter is like $26, Ed. And what is it? Huh? What is it? Is it a bourbon? Bourbon, yeah. Okay. Um, it's slightly less expensive than Virginia Gentleman. It's a little more harsh, but also more flavorful. So the couple of drops of water cuts it wonderfully. Um opens up the flavor the other thing is i pointed out to win when we were chit-chatting yesterday on the stream Hi. that uh yeah. there, this is horrible right. maybe i shouldn't She's do this joke. i hear elizabeth now what can i hear her heard her for a second <laughs> then everything went dark <laughs> i hear giggle i hear giggle yeah, yeah. Because of a storm. Crazy storm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. So, how you doing, Elizabeth? Can we hear you now? <laughs> I don't, I, can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Yes. 
Can you? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you are like totally out of sync. You're 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 yeah, you're our favorite Ooh. kung fu movie tonight. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> The storm <laughs> still right overhead. Is it? Okay, well, we'll bear with you. It is what it is. It is. Just do interpretive dance, it's okay. Andrea does that when she plays D&D. &D. Kind of. I bet you if we wait long enough, Chris will show up for tonight, too. We'll be like, oh, no, we're down to three of us. <laughs> then there's like 17 of us in. <laughs> when should we just add you to Discord? <laughs> Oh yeah, I do want to thank you guys, all you guys who, who have continued to subscribe and support, uh, whether it's throwing bits or donations or Just tell all people. that stuff. Yeah, telling people, inviting people, uh, sharing, subscribing. Um, I second that emotion. Yeah, <laughs> emotion. Uh, I will not cool. thank the people buying the merchandise, because really that's only Ed, ever. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> no joke. No kidding. People are like, you got shirts, you got glasses. Yes, we do. Oh fuck! Now what do I say to them? <laughs> it's um. But no, it, it's good to have you guys coming around and, and helping us out and all that good stuff. Uh, you want to double your uh, merchandise revenues? You start marketing a talk of the tavern coffee. <clears throat> you know, that's uh, when we do the home brewing show, when we actually all have a decent connection. It's we don't want to do it tonight because uh, Elizabeth and I are discussing making a Talk of the Tavern beer that we brew at home and make ourselves and bottle and only share amongst ourselves. So screw you guys. Because we're not looking to sell it. We're just looking to enjoy a decent beer and go, look, I made this. <laughs> you know... Finally, be the the straw that breaks the international travel back because surely that's not going to ship. So I'll have no choice but to come over and drink it. It could be. I I want to make a stout, so I figure we can call it a mm. Sivart Stout. Then Elizabeth, depending what she likes, we can come up with a clever twist on her name and name the beer after her. Elizabeth's beer. Don't tell me what to do. Yeah, we could just call it. Don't tell me what to do. Lager. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We could just call it Swimmer's Ear IPA. <laughs> Surely you'd be better off making a pickle pilsner. Mm. Mm. Oh, I want to make a a pilsner that's the cutting cunt. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we could call it that here. Yeah, we now can. I'm going to have to rename mine. <laughs> 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 and I want to I wanna do a dill saison or a dill goose. I think that would be good. I'll design the labels. I feel like if you if Elizabeth doesn't object, Kevin's Cunning Cunt is a pretty good beer. Yeah, and we should make some labels. And I will, I'll do the labels because I don't care for the beer. And I think we, can, we should do a whole cunt series with assholes uh, and pricks. A uh, little extra yeast. Yeah, we should start one of those. We should start one of those bullshit marketing rumors, like the whole uh, worm in the bottle of tequila type thing. Uh huh. You just put like a, a little miniature pickle in the bottom of each uh, batch okay. of beer. Kevin, so the pickle has magical properties. Once you drink all the beer, the pickle will make you trip out. It's amazing how many people have never worked out the reason that worm made you trip out because you just drank a bottle of tequila so you could be. Kevin, it. have you watched on Netflix? Ricky Gervais's Gervais's Gervais 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 his, his not only his recent stand up that just came out like in the past week Humanity but his six episode well, series Afterlife have you watched either Right I haven't watched Afterlife because that's actually the most recent thing he did Humanity came out in spring of last year And have you watched it I have yes yeah, yeah it's Very the good. sequel to an earlier one which is called Animals yeah, 7 years earlier yeah, but then for that seven years, he was ridiculously busy. He was he, uh, that was the period where the office came out, and then they converted it to the U.S. He hosted the Golden Globes. Right. He was in America quite a bit. Right. It was yeah. There was a reason well, why he did a lot. Yeah, he, he was at work. He didn't have time for a stand-up stage show. 
Um, but anyhow, yeah, we watched it because it just hit Netflix. I watched it right before this. She did. And we found a lot in common between his humor style and ours on the show. He's fucking hilarious. As well as a lot of commonality yeah. in the opinion. He's, he's brilliant. Uh, the, one of the brilliances about Gervais is that sometimes you're not actually sure he's made a joke. <laughs> because he's so dry. Oh, I, yeah. I have that all yeah. the time. I am so dry. It's no joke. How dry are you? I hate it when it's dry. <laughs> <laughs> doing it wrong. <laughs> <coughs> but at least you're doing it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> So did anybody else, Ed, what, what, tell us one good thing that happened to you in the past week. Moving on. <laughs> did, did you get laid by the lovely and talented Teresa? We, we have worked our asses off so much over the past two weeks. We, we've literally been passing each other. What have you been working your ass um, off on, just at work? Just at work. Yeah. Okay, let me ask you this. Yeah. Did you get a big paycheck because you've been working your ass off? Not yet, because I'm two weeks in real. So. Okay, hold yeah. on. Did you, did you make any good food? No. Really? You know what? You fucking goddammit, Ed. Help me out here. No, no <laughs> it, it's, it's been nothing but work. It really has been. I mean, we actually sit down the other night, and we had four whole hours together, and it was, like, incredible. It was awesome. There you go. The whole, uh, I had Sunday off with the wife and kids. Did you say you're going to send off your wife and kids? <laughs> Why, do you want them? <laughs> I did. No, you're the one that cooks. Can you I'd, come I'd, like to buy the, I'd like to borrow the wife back occasionally. <laughs> kids would be good child labor. And, and by the way, uh, actually, your wife does cook when we were there. She, she cooked us a, a lovely oh, yeah. meal or two, and we really enjoyed it. And Kevin, the fucking chef, is just like, Hi, I'm home. I'm eating somebody else's food. It's great. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm very, lucky. I'm very lucky. Chefs have a reputation for having horrendous diets themselves because the last thing you want to do is what you do for work when you get home. If you're a mechanic, you don't want to go home and fix your own car at the end of the day, you know. Um, yeah, so we notoriously have bad diets, so I'm quite fortunate that my wife's an excellent cook and provides me with home-cooked meal. Yeah, yeah. And it, is, it is nice. Is it? Never underestimate the simple pleasures in life. I always tell my kids that. You know, not everything that makes you happy has to be a huge, glorious fanfare-type situation. You know, you can take pleasure from the smallest moments in a day. Well, For me, a meal that I haven't had to do anything to prepare is that... Yeah, yeah, even because I make so many. I, I, today was only a Monday, it's so our quietest day of the week. But I probably churned out 200, 250 meals today over the course of the day. You're a fucking slacker. I oh, know, I'm slacking right off today. So I don't worry, I'm on an all day or tomorrow. I'll try and up my game for you tomorrow a bit. 252! <laughs> <laughs> my, you know, we used to keep a record at the, the posh restaurant I used to work at, the CB Hotel, uh, three rows place. We used to keep a record of who'd done the most covers in an evening shift. Three and a half hour from six to nine thirty service was. Uh, bearing in mind that every meal there was it's from scratch, essentially. You know, unlike where I work now, where certain things are made up and some stuff you're just heating it through, ready for service. But the CDB was everything was fresh cooked, and I think my record in three and a half hours was 164. Really? Yeah. I mean, there's got to be like the the pasta already boiled or something like that, right? You're not throwing no. individual pasta we, servings right. into a pot. Yeah. No, but then you got to bear in mind in that restaurant we weren't using freeze dried pasta either. We made our own sure. pasta that cooked the pasta because it's fresh. Yeah, they made. We did get a bit but of yeah, yes. potatoes today. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm li but to all intents and purposes, apart from incredibly long meat done pasta jobs done before service, like for example making the pasta, but the actual pasta dish itself, sauce was made to order, pasta was boiled to order. So what about you, Kevin? Can you give me something good in the past seven days that's happened to you? Do you know what? The only, about the only thing I can latch on to it, I, it's what I already mentioned. I had a whole day off on Sunday, which was a busy day here in the UK. It's a holiday weekend. It's unusual for me to get a day like that off anyway 
obviously the busy we are the up there from dawn till dark. But I had the whole of Sunday off and it's one of the weekends where we have the kids with us for the weekend as well. So for us, I didn't do an awful lot. We went out for just job at home and him and Lolly spent three hours roaring up laughter in the living room watching cheesy old 80s. It was just really nice to have a family day. Can you just Weekend call them cheesy 80 movies instead of cheesy old 80 movies? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. cheesy 80s movies then. Let's not exactly. call them old. We do have UHF, really, but... which I know to, uh, I have to show to Aiden. <laughs> Speaking of cheesy 80s movie, Andrew <clears throat> picked that up for me. Yeah. It's uh... well, Josh was fascinated the other day. Admittedly, it's something I kind of tinkered with but never got all the way through to complete it. But I was telling him about how certainly my parents' generation uh, used to do a lot more practical stuff to find entertainment, like, for example, Cast Whisker Radios, things like that. Um, what what TV, radio? All that. Cast whisker radios, and they're basically like a cheap radio you could make at home. You could go to places. I don't know what the American equivalent okay, yeah, is, but back when Radio Shack was yeah. actually fucking radio. Shack. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. There you go. Radio Shack would be a yeah, like, like, you know, your hardware store over here. But yeah, you go and buy like small, simple electronics. Radio Shack was a specialty store just for electronics. To it started out to build electronics, and then eventually, by the time, and they're still around, but. Then it turned into this thing where, uh, yeah, you're buying, here. here's a remote control helicopter, here's a already put together computer, here's, oh, there's, you need parts? Well, we have, like, HDMI cords in the back. <laughs> you're not really a fucking Radio Shack anymore, are you? You're, you're, no, you're you just another electronic you're, you're, outlet. You're just another electronic outlet, yeah. Right, as opposed to yeah, kind of do-it-yourself it, it, electronic was outlet. I dug out. I found a couple of old books a while back at a car at Boots. So, um, yeah, like the uh, like a summer holiday this thing you buy for a boy, you know, um, activities for boys. One's called and, and the title was like that. They're probably nineteen fifties, nineteen sixties. I remember the nineteen fifties and sixties well. <laughs> I'm sure you guessed. Um, no, I picked him up just to show Josh because it's it, it, he finds that fascinating, you know, because they've, they've grown up in the digital age. Right. Yeah. So although they're smart kids, you know, they're not quite as naive as those kids you see on the internet videos who can't work out how to use a Walkman and stuff like that. But whilst they're not that naive, they never experience that firsthand. All they know of that kind of thing is hearing about it from us and from my, my parents, you know. Right. This so one thing I, I, I think it's important to remind them that kids used to be a lot more imaginative and a lot more resourceful. You know, you couldn't get entertainment pipes into your house. You made it or you went out and you found it. You know what? Let me tell your kids about the era before they had Lego kits and they were just fucking blocks. Oh, yeah. That you put together or Tinker Toys or uh, oh, Lincoln Logs. And you'd get all three together, and you'd build a fucking ranch, and you'd have these plastic army men and these plastic cowboys and alien, alien, yeah. sorry, Indians. Oh, Native Americans. Indians. Cowboys with aliens. Feathers, not not. That's right. Can, can you do the hand motion when you do it? Feather, <laughs> not dot. Feathers. Yeah. I think it's important. To do it That's right. It's. Um, and by the way. As a Native American, who probably has more credibility than that female senator that everybody was bitching about. Yeah. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Pocahontas. That was not her name. <laughs> Pocahontas. 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 That's awesome. Don't be a wanker. Anyhow, sorry, I, I got lost there. Uh, I really, I actually lost my train of thought here. What the fuck were we talking about, guys? Radios. <laughs> nothing. Building radios. Nothing. Excellent. It's like Seinfeld. Yeah. It's all about nothing. It is. It's about nothing. And in five minutes, it'll be five minutes too, which means, Elizabeth, if you need a break, what? here's your time. <laughs> oh, I'm going to take a break. Do you, do you want one now at ten minutes till, or do you want me to tell you at five minutes till? Yeah, I'm going to take it. At ten minutes, um, it's gonna get wet if no. Are you are you going to have sex or 
Do you have diarrhea? Don't answer. Ooh. Just go. Just go. <laughs> Hopefully not both. God, if oh, you no. say a little of column A, a little column B, no. <laughs> Why is it we can hear her tens unit so much better than we can hear her? It's still a delay. She did that like an hour ago. <laughs> it's so true. We hear the beep, 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 beep. But when you talk, it's... <laughs> titty. <laughs> Swim. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Elizabeth, you have been unusually quiet over the past seven days when it comes to just interacting. Are you okay? Everything all right? Yeah. Uh, I just, no, it's not. And uh, I have two real priorities uh, okay. that, that the quiet is about. And uh, I'm hanging in there, though. So, okay, you know. well, you nudge me um, need not something. Do, you're doing... Go ahead. Well, what, what did you ask? I said you nudge us if you need something, because we will give you your space. But all you have to do is nudge, whether it's distraction or support. And often distraction is a beautiful thing. But in a couple <laughs> weeks, cake! Yes, exactly. So uh, right now I really need to focus on my physical being and my spiritual being and uh, healing and being happy. I have destroyed my forearms from writing so much. I, My right hand got all swollen. I won't get all lots going wrong physically. So uh, uh, I have to make things about me and what's important to me. So that's my focus. There you go. Very good. And that's a beautiful thing because <clears throat> without adversity, you never would realize yes. your focus. <laughs> if another thing goes wrong with my body, I won't be able to make it down the stairs. So oh, I... no. Gravity is always helpful yeah. going down the stairs. Get it back up, though. That's tricky. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna and the worst face. part oh, is yeah. I'm not drinking because I have to be very focused on not inflaming muscles so it just sucks <laughs> does drinking inflame muscles yes kevin kevin has a finger i was just, just gonna say if it makes you feel better i threw my back out four days ago lifting a tub of scampies no, it doesn't make me feel better what does a wild scampi look like by the way when you go out uh, into the wild, wild you're like fuck there's a shit ton of scampies drink. everywhere what do they look like uh, so, I mean, we call them langoustines, but I don't know if you know them by that, or they're also known as Dublin Bay Prawns. Wait a minute, La langoustines, that's that book by Stephen King about the aliens, no. right? No. no, that's, no, you're thinking the Langoliers, which is an oh, amazing yeah. book, but mm -hmm. a terrible movie adaption. Um, like everything before 93, done by King. <laughs> Horrible movie adaptation. Everything. Not yeah. now, though. He does okay. okay. Because he's got his fingers on it. Top. Well, it was, it was good. It was like the turning point, the beginning of the good. Because after that came out the stand, and then actually in the movie theaters, he started getting. Uh, Bender says, "Just heard something with a B." Then you've been quiet for the last seven days, and I was like, "What the fuck? I haven't been here in like a month." Bender, I have no idea what you're fucking talking about. Wait, I'm that equally at a loss, but that's because I can't even read it. It's, I'm only running Discord tonight because I'm still on my Steam-powered laptops. Oh, okay, okay. No, oh. Bender, we were talking to Elizabeth. I... That Elizabeth has been kind of quiet in the last seven days. But yeah, Bender, let's bring it back to you, man, because you've been quiet more than seven days. You've been quiet yeah. for seven days. What the fuck, man? Where the hell were you? <laughs> Okay, I'm done harassing that guy. What have you been doing? Was it fun? Can we get a piss? Oh, that might be a good idea, too. Yeah. Go These are the things we need to know. <laughs> okay. Never go with me. I did make okay. a... I made like, a, like a annoying, amazing... Never go with me. Go ahead, Elizabeth. You made amazing what? I made an amazing soup. I made an amazing corned beef. And uh, there was one more thing. can't remember. But I made soup? a soup based on a. I bought uh, these closest I could get to Momo dumplings, oh. and they're quite small. 
and I designed the soup to try to match the flavor of the dumplings to complement it. And I did it. It worked. So, yes, yeah, soup. Uh, I thought out the last thing is split pea and ham soup. Uh, this is something incredibly, I was going to say warming, but it's too obvious a word. Uh, comforting, wholesome about a soup. Yeah. Like you know, it's, it's a universal dish. You find it all across the world. It's a, a horrendously, incredibly versatile dish as well. Okay, random question. What's your favorite soup? One second. Let me read Skipper's response. Skipper says, I've been doing crunches twice a day, Captain in the morning, Nestle in the evening. And anybody who did not take a break, it is now three minutes till... This week in history, so if you need a break or a refill or whatever, it's the time to run off camera and come back two minutes after we're into this week in history. Your call. I'm, I'm good to go. I'm powered by the dark side. Tonight. Okay. Ed, welcome back. Uh, Everything there. all right there? No. Yeah. Everything's great. <laughs> so convincing. <laughs> Let me switch servers again because this is so broken and horrible. Let's try that. Give us a second, guys. We're switching over to a different... See if this is any smoother or better. The interference tonight could possibly be caused by a solar flare from my forehead region. Stop could be. Pulling. What, what, Ed? Something like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a... Is it me or does Elizabeth's recliner look slightly angry? <laughs> it does. <laughs> Looks like he's puckering up for a kiss. It, it, from behind, maybe. Like, oh, I didn't go there. Did him, did Was it Biden? <laughs> what? Remember, it's only stalking if you get caught. Cool. Didn't Biden kiss someone from behind? Never mind. Oh, yes, yes. Not uh, funny if you got to explain it. Well, it's funnier to me when I explain it. So I realize I'm the one that didn't tell it well, anyhow. So we can take a moment to just analyze her surroundings right there. Okay. Nope, not entertaining. Never mind. Let's move on. Let's analyze Ed's surroundings. So are you still on a hard cider there, Ed? It's water, but I still have a glass of cider here. Oh, there's a pussy. Mm. That pussy got teeth. I'm staying away from that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely true story. Okay. You say that, Ed, but it depends how much cider you drink. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? When we get done with this week in history, we can discuss: Have you ever hooked up with somebody because you were drunk and woke up the next morning thinking, "I would not have done that if I was sober"? Don't answer that yet. You can mull it over. Let's do this. This week in history. Okay, Ed, what happened this week in history? See, it happened, y'all. And I went light on this week in history because of we had a topic. We can stretch this out. Yeah, we can. <laughs> We're good at that. Well, when you bear in mind that originally This Week in History was a 10-minute segment in a three-hour program, and we've been known to have the This Week in History 90 minutes, yeah. we'll it's probably a good be all right. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Uh, 20, 40 years ago, Bad Boys was released in theaters. Uh, Bad can, Boys can anybody, 3 comes out this year. Can anybody sing hmm? that theme, please? What the inner circle? Man. What you gonna do? Bad boys or cops? What you gonna do when they come for you? They use a song in Bad Boys. What you gonna do? That's, that was, unless I'm very much mistaken, and I probably am, uh, I think that was recorded by a group called uh, Inner Circle, who also did Girl I Wanna Make You Sweat. I don't know if you remember that. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I do remember that. Well, that's a bit of bad boys trivia, but that's spun a 30 second deck <laughs> When's the third one due this year? Is it soon or is it end of the year? I think it's in the fall, I believe. 
Now, we all know what Martin has been going through, right? Martin Lawrence? No. No. Huge amounts of depression and whatnot, dealing with that sort of thing. Had a lot of personal issues. This is why he kind of dropped off the radar. Mm. Um, you know, I really suspect the kind of depression we're seeing now is nothing new. It's been there for a long time. But with the nobody talked about it. Well, also with the attitude, especially for men, of suck it up. Deal with your shit. Yeah. Now, now, by the way, I can't say that's all bad. Because what, suck it up or? Yeah, to suck, tell somebody, fucking suck it up, get out there and do it. Yeah, after a certain point, yeah. Right, right. It's, it's a balance between, oh, are you okay? Do you need to talk about it? And, okay, time to shut the fuck up and go do your shit. I, I know this because you do that to me, because sometimes I need it. And sometimes I do, too. I do it to you because I know sometimes I need it. It's uh, just being caring and supportive. You know what really tells me this works? Children not moving out of their parents' house. Back in my day, parents kicked your fucking ass out and you sank or swim. That was your options. Go the fuck away and be an adult now was... How it was treated. And, and you did. Because mm -hmm. you didn't have a choice. Now, if you faltered down the way... They'll help you. Your but. parents, you know, they, they come home. They, they give you a pat on the back. And then a kick in the ass. Um, unless if you were my mother, then she gladly welcomed you back and went, Great, start paying my bills again. Remember why you left in the first place? Because you paid all the bills. And I didn't work. Yeah. You know, so... <laughs> it's... Uh, so, yeah, Martin Lawrence has been going through shit to bring it back to what we were talking about. And, uh, good to see him back. Never really gave a damn about his comedy, but I'm glad to see he's doing okay. Moving on. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're really that long of a pause, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> Nobody else got shit to talk about Martin Lawrence. He's going to come over here, kick my little white ass, and be done with it. Okay. He's going to go a little blackout, so it could be quite amusing. It'd be like a dwarf. Hold on, can Martin you Lawrence, on Twitch you kick my ass? Would that be yes, okay? True. Uh, yeah. We should. Uh, oh, I took your advice, by the way, Andrew. Talking about small people. Um, watched um, Delinquents. Is it Delinquents? I got the right one. The comedy series on Netflix that Brad was. Degenerates. Degenerates. Degenerates with Brad Williams. Thank you. Brad Williams, yeah. Oh. I'm putting his one on to try that and ended up watching the whole series. Some of those were awesome. Yeah. Nice. We had him on the show. And then he had yeah. a Netflix special. I just want to say it was us. Our fault. You stole it here first. That's right. Yeah. That's right. We were at the leading edge. We were the foam on the wave he's riding. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Ed, what else happened this week? Ten years ago, Fast and Furious. The original one? Mm-hmm. So Really, only ten years ago. I I couldn't believe it too when I saw it. I had a couple of different sources. I was like, "That's more than ten years." Sixty-two, sixty-three. Now, that's the that's the next big thing, isn't it? Is um, what's it called? Hobson. I can't remember that character's name. The spin-off that they're doing with uh, the Rock and Jason Statham. It's due out some and soon. I don't know if I've seen. Hobson that. Shaw. That's it. Ah, okay. The characters that they played in the Fast and Furious movies crossing paths again. Oh. After, I believe after the movies, don't quote me on the timeline thing, but yeah, they're, they're, that's the direction they're taking it in now. I think that they're going to either stop Fast and Furious or maybe just make like another one somewhere down the line. Yeah, so they're, they're one more. In. And then they're spinning it off sideways into taking the... Hobbs and Shaw thing. I think there's plans to do another one after the one that's due out soon. So yeah. I dare to say we're going to see a few familiar Fast and Furious actors popping up in those movies. So I think it's almost going to kind of be like a, you know, the new era for the franchise, as it were. Yeah. Wow, ten years. 
it'll be it'll be the quick and dirty movies. Say again, Elizabeth. Too bad. It'll be called this new franchise. Will be called the Quick and the Queer. Wait, wait, wait. Which one's quick? Which one queer? Jason or Dwayne? <laughs> well, he might have a name like Dwayne, but I challenge you to call him queer to his face. Is Dwayne Johnson gay? No. Oh. He's not in Fast and Furious. Yes, he is. I thought it was Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel. Not Jason Statement. Vin Diesel. Oh, God, can you imagine your hearts would be broken and or related if Jason Statham would have come out of the closet as gay? That'd be great. Uh, by the way, Vin, Vin Diesel and Dwayne Johnson do not like each other, and from what I understand, have right. refused to work together. Well, you know, they're big enough, they can <laughs> say no. Where is he? Who, do who doesn't work together? Vin Diesel, Dwayne Johnson. Yeah. Really? What's that? Gay. 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 <laughs> They're too in love. They can't work together. Too... It's a love hate relationship. Huh? They love hating each other. Could be. I can't look it up on my internet tonight. My internet is just. I want to read something. Yeah, I can. Go ahead. Um, Skipper says, our son moved back home to be a caregiver for me. Good kid. See, now that's different. For them to move back home to help you instead of, you know, they couldn't hack it. Well, you know what? I, I don't think very many of them couldn't hack it. They chose not to hack it. Well, yeah. Yeah. But going home for a reason like a, I'm contributing to the household and living as an equal. Cool. Or I'm helping my parents out. I'm taking care of my parents, etc. Awesome. Going back because I'm tired of working and I want to go back to my video game console in the basement. No. I want to. Well, not in the basement, but That's you right. Know. That's right. That's right. Uh... What else happened? Ed, what else happened this week in history, please? Fifteen years ago, Hellboy with Ron Perlman. And what is it? Right. This month we get a third live-action installment. Mm -hmm. A reboot, I guess? It's not a continuation, is a it? Hellboy? It, yeah. yeah. No, it's not a continuation. It comes out on your birthday. <gasps> what? You're going to take me for my birthday? Well, okay. I was wondering with the drive-in if we can get Miss Marvel Hellboy double feature. Oh. Or not Miss Marvel, Avengers Endgame. That's what Whatever. Whatever. As Captain Marvel. Mm. That's right. Miss Marvel was a comic title before they changed it to Captain. So if she's only a captain, does that mean really she's just kind of mid rank in the space military she's a part of? Of the Kree Empire? Wait, is she Kree or is she. Mm -hmm. Assuming, of course, that, that by sheer coincidence they've modeled their entire military structure on the same model that we use here on Earth. Well, she is human. Oh, okay. I'm not familiar with the characters, and I haven't seen the movies. Wait. Okay. What, Elizabeth? A, cap a, ca a captain in the Air Force is a significantly lower rank than a captain in the Navy. True. But doesn't anybody who have has their own ship get the rank of captain while they're running that ship? See, a captain in the Navy is a higher rank because... You have a ship. Okay. But you... A captain in the Navy is equivalent to, like, I believe, a colonel in the other... But once you lose Navy. your ship, you drop back to whatever rank you came in as. Is that no, correct? No. No. Okay. No. No. So, uh, has anybody seen <clears throat> Captain Marvel? Let's do that. No. <laughs> has anybody seen Shazam? No. Because I've heard that shit I, is great. I saw the trailer. That's funny. Yeah, yeah. It's... it's um, you could um, you could message Jody and ask him. I think he took Bam the other day. I'm pretty sure I saw him post he was watching it at the cinema. Yeah, I'm gonna message Jody, somebody I've been talking to for four years. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> well, <laughs> I do. I, I probably haven't spoken to him in six months. I oh, messaged okay. him the other day. I, I know I could, and he would reply. Maybe depending what he's 
doing that week. Um, but uh, yeah, Shazam, from what I hear, it's like Deadpool comedy, but family friendly. So, you know, the okay. way Deadpool took the comedy and put it into superhero movies, Shazam has done the same thing, put comedy in there that we just haven't seen a lot of other places. And is just a... I saw the, saw the trailer for the first time a few days ago. It looks kind of intriguing. It looks fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably not, to be honest, not something I would go out my way to go and see at the cinema. But, I, you know, when a streamable version pops up, I'd definitely give it a walk. I suspect I'm going to enjoy the hell out of it because it's not like... As much as the other superhero movies are different from one another, they're still kind of the same. Um, and I feel like this is going to be different. I am excited because Cloak and Dagger season I, two I, is out. I, from the trailer, I kind of see it filling a similar sort of slot to um, Kick Ass. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Kick Ass. Oh, I like that movie. Uh, you know, maybe uh, two, three years younger than the Kick Ass. Mm. That's how okay. Mr. Bitey got his name. It is. Mr. Bitey Otter here is named after the cat in the tree in Kick Ass. Mr. Bitey. <laughs> we just added Otter because we wanted to put rocks in his armpits. <laughs> are, are we still on the Fast and the Furious? Or did I don't we. fucking know. Was there Hellboy. something. What is Hellboy. 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 We should talk about Hellboy for a second. Has anybody watched a trailer for that? No. Yeah. Yeah. Looks good. <laughs> it's. it's yeah, I enjoyed the, the other two that they made. It looks like it's going to be equally as enjoyable. I'm intrigued to see what they do with the plot for it. Like you say, you know, it's like they're rebooting it, aren't they, rather than doing a story continuation. So, so yeah. intriguing. Just... But yeah, it looks good. No, have you seen the animated ones? There's like two or three animated Hellboys. And... I think I've seen one. I've seen one of them. I heard they're as good as the live action movies, but they're done in the art style of the comic. Huh? seen one. I don't remember which one it was I saw, but I I like Hellboy anyway. That's one of my favorites. So. I haven't seen all the movies. And he still smokes a cigar. Fuck you, Hollywood. <laughs> he can do what he wants. I did have a cigar this week. It's got, it's, I'm sure at this point Ron Perlman's probably got that like contractually written into every job that he does that the character must be able to smoke a cigar. I think I've only seen one movie in the last 10 or 20 odd years he's done where he doesn't smoke a cigar. And that's a movie where she knows where they're looking at. Oh. That's the movie what? What movie? Bunraku. No idea what yes. Bunraku? Is you, that a gay porn? You've never watched, if you've never watched it, go and watch it. It's amazing. It's kind of done in the style of a, an old Japanese, Chinese martial arts movie. Uh, but it's in English. There's a whole host of famous actors in it. Woody Harrelson is in it. Ron Perlman's in it. Um, I don't want to say anything about the plot because I'll spoil it. But it's... It's Kevin. different. It, Reset your I enjoyed camera, it as... Kevin? Kevin? Your camera yeah. is I mean, it's working a online. really bad impressionistic painting this right now. This is what your camera looks like right now. Oh, wait. I can't see anything. My, it's working all right from my end. Hang on, let me just turn just, it off from the front again. Exactly. And also, tell us the name of this movie again. So, you can still hear me, right? Yeah. Is that any better? It's working on it. It'll tell us in a moment. There you are. Yes, you're okay. Okay. Uh, it's called Bunraku. B U N R A K U. Mm. I'm sure it, it, it's an older movie now, not ancient, but certainly not in the last few years. So I imagine you could probably find a streamable version of it online somewhere. I okay. would look it up, but I, I don't run anything else apart from Discord on a laptop at the moment. Very good. Understand. But yeah, it's a great movie. Uh, if you've never seen it, definitely worth a watch. Um, it's not a great analogy, but um, it's kind of a bit like Sin City, oh. in the sense that there are it's there are almost cartoony theatrical elements to it in the way that it's shot and some of the cut scenes and things like that. Um, so it's got an unusual feel to it. 
Um, but it's a great, entertaining little movie. Uh, like I say, you know, if you've never seen it, always worth a watch once. I love it. I'm surprised more people haven't heard of it. Like I say, there's you know a lot of recognisable faces in it. It's got a great story, but it just seems to have slipped under a lot of people's radars. Well, we will check it out. Ed, what else yeah, happened this week in history? Uh, where did my page go? Oh, there it is. Uh, 20 years ago, Matrix. Huh. Mm. I'm still stuck on Fast and Furious. It only came out 10 years ago, and they're on number yeah. 8. Yeah, I thought it was like a lot longer than that. Well, they mm-hmm. were putting them out. Like, the first one to every the second year. one, there was like two years. And then pretty much every year after that. Car they, people, they well, with Grand Theft Auto and all that, it was a big thing. Because people like cars and going fast and all this other stuff. Uh, like apparently, three-month filming time, two months in the thing, and yeah, oh, out of the can happens. it goes. Okay. Well, oh. Okay. I feel like uh, Scuffle Moss would like that. Probably, because of Bun. He likes Bun. Bun. Yeah. Matrix. Um, I like the Matrix. I like the Matrix a lot. I have that. I have like all the movies. I like the philosophy of it, and I like the fucking action. I just feel like yeah. they need to take part two and three and re-edit that shit so it balances <laughs> better. Because one is all fighting, the other one is all plot. And I saw an article recently that went, the end of the Matrix finally explained. And I'm like, really? Somebody mm-hmm. needed that shit explained? Is anybody confused by the end? No. Does anybody care? (laughs) Well, I enjoyed the movie, so I do. I mean, it's not that big. It's not keeping me up at night. Well, I mean, I felt it. They kind of spelled it out pretty well. They did. I mean, it's it's all right. I'm complaining about the writing. Uh, I think they got full of themselves. I think they... written masturbation they fell in love with their words and their theories and they forgot to entertain the audience well that's why you go to part two which is is all fucking fight scenes except for 15 percent that's plot then part three they went oh shit i guess we should tell the story so you have 85 percent plot and 15 percent action and you're like well that's a bit unbalanced Oh, um, I don't mind fighting, mm-hmm. but there needs to be a reason, and it needs to be entertaining. You know, uh, I'd say Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, fighting was incredible. I Matrix fell asleep, was couldn't just, even get through it. Uh, <laughs> the whole time, I wish I was drinking. <laughs> was Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon? Yeah. No, no, no. The Matrix. The Matrix. My point being, different stro- uh, different folks, different strokes. And, you know, with Matrix, I just felt like a little re-editing would have very much approved it. But, you know, I thought the writing was well done. I liked the concepts they, they introduced. And they introduced it on a low enough level that most people can get it. My only problem with the, I think it was the second movie where the guy, the agent guy, and there was so many clones, and it just, that, that scene went on forever for the fighting. It did. It That's did. the only it problem I have. Yeah. But Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, I have never made it through the whole thing. Because it's so slow and the music is so beautiful and gentle, I nap really well. It's not a good movie to watch late at night in bed, no. no. <laughs> See, I loved it, but then I I grew up with a bunch of mates who were all into it. I mean, we were all into martial arts anyway, and, and all trained in one discipline or another, but they were all obsessed with the old martial arts movies. So I watched a lot of those, whether I wanted to or not, with the various people I've shared flats with when I was much younger. So I've seen a lot of martial arts movies, and I really enjoyed it. I thought it was great. It was really well filmed. It was visually, it was beautiful. Yeah, see, a couple of the fight scenes were a little bit overblown. It kind of felt like they were reaching a little bit hard, maybe. Um, but it wasn't. It, contextually, everything fit. You know, some of these old martial arts movies, it's like. Someone knocks over a cup and it's an excuse for a 60 man brawl, you know? <laughs> it, it, it's, it's horrendously like contrived. Part two. Hang on. Okay, we're going to move from big fight scene one to big fight scene two, but we need a spurious reason to kick the fight off, you know? Oh, 
I've dropped a grain of rice on your coat. Let's all fight. <laughs> it gets a bit like that. With Crouch, it's like a hidden dragon. It felt more natural. There was a reason for it. It was part of the plot. It didn't feel disjointed. Sometimes with cameras freezes at the most inopportune moments. I think it's weird now for all of us, you know. I, I think you're seeing stuff freezing when I'm not, and vice versa. I've, I've just given up. <laughs> I'm just pretending you're all there. Yeah. You could all have left ages ago. I could be talking to, you know, it could be like a solar echo thing. You all, the show finished 20 minutes ago. I'm still it talking is. to. <laughs> to sidetrack us further, Elizabeth, I have been watching uh, Love, Death, and Robots. Oh my God, I saw one episode. They're brilliant. Which one? Which one? The second one with the cats. Three robots. With the three robots on the vacation. The sightseeing tour one. Right. Oh, it was so great. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I didn't show her any of the other ones, but I'm like, you need to see this one. I was very happy. And I, I love that, just for that one bit, the bit where the cat speaks for the first time. Right. It reminded me of the uh, British milk commercials with the cats that are snapping. <laughs> I was like, why Why is this cat British? <laughs> <laughs> and talking like they should have had also portrayed it wearing a fucking bowler hat and carrying an umbrella and a briefcase. <laughs> what is it, from the yes, Avengers? you know. <laughs> Once we mastered the opposable thumbs, that was it for humanity. Talks away, back to Black Team. By the way, I'll be back for breakfast. that was a great twist besides you know why oh the humans killed themselves off well now you gotta wonder did they well, or see, did the cat rub on their ankles when they were going down the stairs the funny there thing was a now, um there was a whole advertising series here in the uk for a milk called craven day um which was based on uh the cats are coming via cravendale and um look out because they're developing opposable thumbs and then there's, there's like a bunch of cats doing like a west side story down the garden path stalking the guy for the milk i remember that no i i was there was something i was oh right the love death and robots um mm. Uh, Chris has said, Elizabeth, that they're all pretty good. There's no bad ones in the bunch, but there's definitely ones that stand out. You read it. my mind. That's what I was thinking. I was I was going to say to you guys, watch them all. You know, some of them you may not agree with. Some of them you're kind of, uh, but the quality is really impressive. It, it is. Yeah. She was very surprised by the animation level. She's oh like, God, this animation? Holy shit. Right. And That's skill there. Uh, the one, uh, Sucker of Souls, which, sorry guys, for you those who what? haven't seen it, the one uh, about the vampires. Oh, I haven't seen um, it. Ah, lovely. Well, I felt like that ended five minutes too soon. I felt like it needed a couple more minutes tacked on it. Yeah. Oh, they were trying to get pilots. I mean, all of those were looking for uh, something beyond just really? this, you know. Okay. No, I, that's good to know. That these make sense as pilots. The teaser, the prologue. Well, yeah. like uh, movie 43, yeah. each of them are teaser, trailers. Well. <laughs> um, suits, the one the, about the... The last... Okay. I've, I've only seen seven of them. <laughs> So, don't don't go too far. But suits, the one about the farmers in the power suits, I enjoyed that one. Yeah. That was well done. Um, there's a couple I can't even remember because they just don't stick in my head. <laughs> Thank you, Zazzle. Where's Center program. Love? Ed, um, Yo. can you download stuff from Netflix to watch later? Yes, I can. So yeah, the afterlife. Especially considering the age group we're in, Ed, this is very appropriate to our age group, to to us, to our generation, um, as well as uh, love, death, and robots. That that doesn't speak to our generation. That's just good story right, telling. What I found interesting about love, death, and robots is I've I've seen them all, and so have a few of my mates. 
and everybody's got different favourites. You're right, there are definitely maybe two or three, but I think nearly all of us have gone, that was a great one. So there's definitely standout ones, but as far as favourites, I think it depends on other stuff you're into. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's why, you know, with whether it's, uh, you know, going back to the Matrix, uh, Hidden Dragon, Crouching Tiger, um, you know, it's, it is different for everybody, and we all like different things. And I'd like to watch that one again. Yeah, I really like that movie. We'll watch it. I think I have it. Well, it could have been, you know, 15 years ago is when I watched it, and there was a lot. It was through my divorce period. So um, I might have just been passing out for anything just to have a break. Yes, no, I, I, just I pass don't. Out I punch you. Yeah. Elizabeth. Oh, okay. Um, agreed. You know, flavor is 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 a lot, but it's not everything. And when there is a qual passion, no matter what you do in your art, the viewer will respond and. That's what I uh, love robots and sex or what death, whatever. I'll get it wrong. <laughs> That's what all of them had. All of them had that quality. Like they, the people working on it, there was good chemistry and they believed in the project. And that last one, the very last one, is the only one that I just immediately went back and watched it again. I couldn't believe it. And I'm not a big fan of realistic animation where the skin looks real and people but uh that one was just it really hit accords i do feel like a couple of them have been in concept good mind fucks but in <laughs> execution they're just slightly shy of it um, but i got what they were trying to get across it just something didn't quite click perfect um the no. two in particular i'm thinking of is <clears throat> the second or third one the third one is called the witness and it's about the girl who sees the murder across the street uh, through the window uh, do you remember that one yeah yeah <laughs> that's one i get the concept good concept but it felt slightly lacking for me um, the other one is when the spaceship takes off through the portal and doesn't show up where they think they should be, if you remember that one. without I don't want to give spoilers for viewers. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's another one where I'm like, well, I feel like it's... It's almost there. And maybe if they developed it into a, you know, a series or a full length or whatever... It would more so be there. Those are the ones that, I'm sorry, those are the ones that felt like uh, that graphic magazine heavy metal. I felt those like were these the were two that so much better like that. than heavy metal. Because heavy metal, I, I, I got it. I watched it. I don't know what people thought was so great about it. Um, Did you read the magazine? Yeah, in my teens, they had titties. It was great. But besides oh. that, <laughs> it's like National Lampoon. Remember their magazine? They had titties. It was great. You mean National Geographic, not National Lampoon? Uh, you know what? I never found the National Geographic titties all that great. <laughs> uh, I have never you know, seen a National, I've never seen a National Lampoon magazine. Me neither. But I have reenacted the human zit scene. Ooh. Yes, Elizabeth? I liked heavy metal. I, I couldn't afford to buy it all the time. But even when I was young, probably too young to be reading it, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I really appreciated just the variety of, we of story you could get out of it and just ideas that maybe I have thought of or maybe I never have. And it's not so long that I have to commit to an enormous book. Right. It's just an experience, and then I can move on. And, uh, that yeah, was, it always had a pretty big impact on me. That was the nice thing about it is it, it, whatever one you got, you could flip through and find something you liked. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you could definitely find something you're like, what the fuck is this? So it, it had the full spectrum. And then you had a lot of stuff you're like, eh, okay, whatever. 
some that were arousing and you kind of felt bad about it. <laughs> no, no, I no, I wasn't raised Catholic. I was okay. <laughs> I know, man. That, that planet one. Oh, that's man. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> Anyhow. Ed, what else happened this week in history? Uh, 80 years ago, Batman made his first appearance in Detective Cop. <laughs> wow. Uh, by the way, Gary says, uh, Von Bo did some stuff for Heavy Metal, I think. Like the magazine, but not the movie so much. And yet, Gary, originally it was the movie that yeah. I was referring to. The magazine, like I said, you could pick it up and kind of find something every time that you went, no, I like that. Um, and then later when MTV came out with uh, Liquid Television, it reminded me so much of the heavy metal movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. In concept, not in execution. Supposed uh, to be... I'm sorry. Go ahead. The heavy metal movie, from my understanding, was supposed to be like Love, Death, and Robots in that art uh, animators were given the theme of the gold, uh, green ball of eat, and they would make of a film about them. and I guess people tried to kind of mimic each other's style and they got all this these stories and one of my instructors had turned in um, mm -hmm. his own version and it's on the it's on YouTube I think I've shared the link several times where art a type of animation than everyone else's it wasn't you know breasts well there was breasts but it was artful breasts. <laughs> There is a surprising amount of breasts. I'll, I'll find the link. I'll find the link here. In, in Love, Death, and Robots. And by the way, hello, droids. Love the name. Welcome to the robots. show. They've come to watch the show. As you comment on things, we will get to you. So be patient. If you're impatient, bugger off. Watch somebody else's channel. Um, but this is how Monday night That's goes. That's the most British I've ever heard you stand for a brief moment there, I think, Travis. It's, uh, if you read our last bugger exchange off. via... Uh, uh, Discord, you'll see uh, no spoilers, droids. Don't fuck this shit up for me. Uh, droid, <laughs> droid says, I actually finished a lot of I've seen one episode. Yeah, droids might be like, fuck you. You told me to bugger off. Here's the end, you asshole. <laughs> Don't do it. Anyhow, um, well, welcome to Civ Art Social and Talk yeah, about it every Monday night, welcome. 8 o'clock. But yeah, Kevin, if you read our last exchange on Discord, it was very British. You just got to hear me in a British <laughs> accent better than I do because I'm, I'm terrified to do it in front of you in case it just oh, sounds God. horrible. Well, well, like I'm terrified to occasionally imitate a southern redneck police officer. That's fucking, that was awesome. <laughs> and by the way, Droids just said my favorite was Three Robots. It was so funny. That's what. That's my favorite. Droids, I don't know how long you watched before you followed the channel, but yeah, we opened discussing three robots. That's cause, the only one I've seen. Yeah. Well, the others, like I said, they're 10 to 20 minutes each, and it's a wonderful, you know, brief... Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Ed, what else we got this week in history? Uh, okay, uh, moving up to now, uh, Rambo Last Blood okay. to be released this fall. Okay, yeah. <laughs> last Blood. Literally, the last blooded Stallone system before it, it finally be. runs dry. The rest is silicone. husk is placed into the movie all the time. <laughs> yeah, we had first blood. Now this is last blood. He uh, gets a walker. He chases people through the woods. Oh my god! Is this going to be? Is this going to be Stallone playing Don Rambo again? It is going to be Stallone. Yeah. Wow. All right. Good yeah. for him. Now, from what I hear, Stallone has a huge ego. Oh, I was going to say a huge what? Well, I'm willing to bet it. No, he has a small penis from what I've heard about his porn called The Italian Stallion that he did in the late 70s. He has a porn? Yes, yeah. he does. Oh, my God, i got to find that. We've discussed that on the show yeah. before, probably right after Ed and Kevin came on five years ago. I um, see that. It's a... Uh, but... Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, You've never seen Rambo? So, wow. I suspect a lot of Stallone's ego actually comes from anxiety. And that's why he doesn't want people to talk to him, because he doesn't know how to respond to them. I understand that. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I understand that. Well, you know, being as famous as I am, there's times in conventions I'm just like, Why are you talking to me? 
No kisser, <laughs> Oh my god. What the fuck? It's a... <laughs> okay, so Droid says, never seen that movie. I don't know if they meant Rambo Probably. or... Uh, Like, are, are you just... Like, Gary, that is like random Gosh. words put together. What the fuck does that even mean? Is that like Texas Ranger with Chuck uh, Norris reborn in 2088? I think he's trying to say the movies will go on and on and on. Until uh, yeah, uh, it's a very good point. Yeah. <laughs> Presumably... You can say you can watch anything and you never have to put no homo in here because, frankly, we no, don't shit. think... Or worry if you suck dick or love pussy. We don't give a damn unless if we're about to have sex with you. Unless it's you. ours. That's right. <laughs> it's, it's, we'd kind of like you to at least ask permission first, although frankly, after drinking this list or anyone's. And frankly, putting no homo after anything is much more likely for us to target you on that aspect than if you never put it at all. What aspect. Aspect. Well done, Kevin. Yeah, mm. does anybody actually give a fuck about Rambo 5, Last Blood, or whatever it is? <laughs> okay, I looked up his porn on YouTube. I'm not going to show it. Of that. course you did. Don't worry. Okay, I stumbled across, he's called The Porn Critic, and he reviews <laughs> Stallone's movie. Uh, I'll show you a picture of him. You ready? Oh, this oh. is the is it Ron the Jeremy? Porn critic. Please let it be Ron it, Jeremy. He's wearing a shirt. It's fine. Oh. It's fine. <laughs> he doesn't care if he's wearing a shirt. Go ahead. Go. Come on. Oh. A little lower. Oh, yeah, he watches a lot of. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does he tell people to put the lotion in the basket? Uh, Fine. I will get you ten those glasses if it was the short sighted. <laughs> that would make sense. Oh my god. Shirt is buttoned to the top. Oh, that's... <laughs> he wants to be a Mexican to gangster. To the latex gimp suit. I, I can't. What the hell is a, a cholo? cholo? He wants to be a cholo. You know oh. where I learned that word when I worked at the Mexican restaurant. You know where I learned that word when we went to Eddie's party. Oh, that's where I learned it. That's right. It was, it was from one of our that. Mexican friends. They taught us what a cholo was. And we're like, but what's that? Because we're white. I'm like, oh, they're dressed as gangsters. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're like, we dressed as cholo. We're like, is that like... That's a gangster, right? Rolo or... What, well, Lolo? What's the... You only live once. YOLO. Yolo. <laughs> that's horrible. Hold on. Give us a second. We're busy being white. <laughs> How white are you? <laughs> yeah, Ed, how white are you? <laughs> Ed's, Ed's somewhat white, just on the right day. He is. Uh, Droid says that's the type of guy to go to an Apple store and try to correct the employees. You might yep. not be wrong, Droids. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you, you, you might be correct on that one. And then kidnap one of them and bring it home. And I'm not even going to say kidnap a female employee. I don't female think it really matters. He's not very big. That was Instead of no homo at this point, no psycho. <laughs> oh, he does look like he could live in the Bates Motel with his mother, doesn't he? He does, doesn't he? He does live there. He does look like he it. Does he does. He masturbates hotel. <laughs> ah, masturbates hotel. <laughs> You're on it, Kevin. I, my work here is done. Hold on. Do you need a tissue? A That's tissue. what he said. So, That's um, fine. I've, I've okay. got my blankie. So, Elizabeth, you put something in our Discord chat there. What is that that we're going to see? Uh, Oh, I believe, the, is it not the link to the animation she was Yeah, referring? the heavy metal thing. Oh, I thought it was to the porn. Never mind. When if he does know, that animation... Yeah. I'm sorry, when he does that animation, uh, at least when he animated in front of me, our, our class, he would just use a ballpoint pen and draw the entire piece, like what you're looking at. And put a sheet over it and draw the entire piece. So it literally became a moving painting, one drawing at a time, which is I've never seen before. That's awesome. Man, the 
quick tangent here. Patreon has had so many payout issues in the past couple months. This is why I've stopped putting a lot of effort into Patreon. Because I'm very concerned about where it's going. And by the way, Droids, is your real name Eric? I feel like you're an Eric. I don't know why. Uh, Eric Droids there says, How white am I? In my state, half the jobs here are farm related, and if you don't drive a big truck, you're not cool in school. Wow, do you live out here? I know. It, we, we live in the middle of fucking Cowtown, Virginia. Cowtown, that one. <laughs> it's, uh, then again, you know what? Ed, Ed on Elizabeth <clears throat> isn't far off. And, oh, by the way. Like, oh, one, oh, one up here. Not only do I live on a farming community, it's on a fucking island. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a fence around it so they don't get out. Uh, Kevin, yeah. if you go watch Afterlife, um... I will do it at some point. Emily's watched it. She loved it. She think, said she was she was absolutely torn, like a massive mood swing between laughing and hilarity and wanting to cry. I think he lives in your house. Like, that's your fucking front door. He walks up your walk, man. Um, and by the way, Cody... The, the only talking, bit of it I've... Go ahead, Kev. The only bit I've seen is, is a trailer with him walking past the playground with a ginger kid. Right, right. Yeah, that bit is the only bit I've seen. It's a, I really get y'all right. I, I get that a, a lot more now after watching those six episodes. Oh, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> right, what the hell? Uh, Droids is in Maryland, by the way. Oh, so so just north of us. Real name Cody with a K. So obviously born 90s or later. Because so before that, Eric, Cody had a C. We're talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, welcome to the channel. As, as you see, we're hey, totally going to fuck with you, dude. Uh, but, but you're welcome to say stupid shit, too. Um, and hey, we say water too. What, Kev? I was going to say stupid shit is kind of what the channel was built on. It is. So. And Gary is interacting with him saying, uh, sounds like a Nebraska droid. And then uh, Cody <laughs> says, where we say water instead of water. And say ice. Gary points out Pennsylvania here, say water too. I knew a kid from Philadelphia when I was elementary school age. He said witter. W I T E R instead of water. He he would get a glass of witter. Fucking yank. No, you get a glass of witter. Here on the island. He went witter to the mall. Here on the island, it would be war. Oh, actually, Cody, that's a good question. That's kind of like W A apostrophe E R. You just missed the T out, putting the next to be a H in the middle. Well, I'm curious, Cody. Just to clarify, not that it matters, but uh, Ed, Ed is a redneck confederate. Ed, give a wave at the camera so he knows which one of us we're talking about. How you doing? <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, wow. Okay, you know what? Don't try to sound that light, dude. It doesn't work. You're no Eddie Murphy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I bet you could do the white comedian voice, though, that black guys do. Just try to talk like me. Go ahead, Ed. Try to talk with you? No, talk about the <laughs> Talk like the guy in the porn rating YouTube channel. <laughs> what would he sound like? I posted the link right Hello now. there. My name is Eric. <laughs> now the more higher pitch. So I'm, I'm, I'm sensing weaselly. <laughs> what the red yeah, guys from Harry Potter? I didn't ever do that on Justin. you. Good afternoon. This is Justin. <laughs> Welcome to the porn review. <laughs> Today we'll be looking at Sylvester Stallone's most mediocre efforts. But it's Justin with a Y. <laughs> it's just in two separate words. Very good, Justin. Porn review. It's a critique of his, <laughs> it's a critique of his own sexual performance. Just in. <laughs> ah, done. <laughs> oh, the show got so much better than it was an hour ago. <laughs> Last night, my wife said she wanted me to give her 10 inches and make it hurt. So I stuck it in twice and then head butter. her. Ah, oh, that's great. I usually just fold it in half and head butter. Yeah, she mentioned that. <laughs> oh, let's see. Droids, uh, droids is saying... Oh, my God. There's all kinds of good comments. Thank you, guys. Bender is chit-chatting. Witter sounds like it may or may not be water. Gary says... Looks like he drained his testosterone from masturbation. By the way, uh, Cody, he's talking about Erica there over there in the YouTube porn review. And then Cody says, no, you're right. My cousin who lives in Delaware since I live like 20 minutes away from the border, but he says, witter. Okay. 
Ed, what else happened this week on history? Uh, Law and Order SVU just signed for its 21st season. Does it moves in else... second place for the longest running show on TV behind The Simpsons. Ah. That's right. Wow. Last week you mentioned that it was the longest running live action and it took over Gunsmokes. Kennedy, where the fuck you I been? I wasn't here last week. Whenever you were here last. Oh, um, Big Bang. <laughs> Big Bang. Big Bang is the longest running multi camera show. Do most shows only have one camera or something? I don't fucking know. I just, I don't know. I don't even know what multi-camera show means. More than one camera. Elizabeth, you're a film person. The fuck's that mean? Not TV. <laughs> Tuberculosis? No. no I'm, I'm assuming it just refers to the style of filming where you've got a set with multiple cameras so they can show the same action but from different angles. I thought all shows one camera had that. No, no, no. Sometimes no, they have one no, camera and they do different shots. They'll, they'll do it in front of an audience and then they call it the vector line and that's the one side all the cameras are. And everybody stays on the other side, and then they have certain cameras set up for certain shots, okay. for certain Apparently cutting. It's somewhat new in the past twelve years to have multiple camera no. cameras with a live audience or some shit. I don't know. Oh my god! It it went out of fashion because it can get expensive, and like oh. uh, on that show, you know how they're always walking up the stairs. Yeah. Well, well, they have to keep resetting that. It's only right. like one or one and a half level. What okay. Kev? I'm curious, so uh, how long do we have to keep broadcasting for, given that we're on five years now before we're in the running to be the longest-running multi-camera show? <laughs> oh, no, this is year seven. Oh, it's year seven. Did you see the five of seven? Yeah. In October, <laughs> I've lost track of how long history. we've been here. Well, it's Tra been on inside longer. this little box. <laughs> it's been on longer as a, not camera, though, but seven years on video, right? This? Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess I guess technically yeah, but it was still multi yeah. Um Kennedy, I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about with Barnes and Amos. <laughs> I have Desia Amba. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But uh, just so you know, if Mondays are rough, Thursdays we have our D and D game. You need to be there for that shit. Okay, so that was a uh, uh, SUV. Yeah. <laughs> SVU. SVU. Don't, don't. I call it SVU. Yeah. That's why he does. So, yeah. <laughs> Ice T's been a cop longer than he's been a gangster. <laughs> That's very white of him. Uh, you, what, can change, you can change your life. People can change. <laughs> That's another topic. Bender says, I thought it was called Fourth Wall, but that might just be a tech crew thing. Fourth Wall is uh, talking to the audience, breaking the fourth wall. Because you have three walls on the set when you speak directly to the audience to interact with them. That's called the fourth wall. Um, you pretend there's a wall there and you don't break it. So. Well, that's yeah. right. The characters don't know the audience is there. Well, in theory, unless you know, it's a certain thing like uh, William Shatner in Boston Legal. <laughs> or Deadpool, exactly, as George Daddy just pointed out. Um, Ed, what else we got here? We got ten minutes left in the show. <laughs> Only one birthday shout out, I think. Uh, uh, Marvin Gaye, April was second, nineteen thirty-nine. Nice. Marvin, happy birthday, man. <laughs> He's, dead. Right He's dead. His dad shot him. His dad shot him, or my dad yeah. shot him. His dad in like the 1980. Oh, I'm thing. glad it was his hey, dad because otherwise it's a hate crime if it's my dad. Why? Why did that shoot him? Because he was gay. Marvin Gay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Gary says yeah. Ice T was a clean rapper. What? Well, fuck the police? No, that was Ice Cube. Oh. They should have formed a band together called Ice Ice Baby. I was thinking about that when Ed said that earlier. No, I, unless I'm wrong, I could be wrong, but the first time he portrayed a cop, wasn't it ironically, in New Jack City? It New was. Jack City, yep. Yeah. Which I have the soundtrack for and play regularly, because that's a great... Yeah. Um, I'm my brother's keeper. Well, that's the Yin Yang Twins that do that song. 
It's a good song. Oh. Droid says, I'm only 16, so I'm not that educated. Uh, that's not necessarily... Well, it could be education, could be experience. Droid, I'm 42, and I'm not that educated. Don't I, sweat it. Yeah, absolutely. We absolutely have a little leeway for people who, you know, frankly, I don't see a lot of TV because I'm busy doing other shit. So, <laughs> mind you, when I was 16, a lot of fucking TV. So, yeah. Trying the best lights. What? <laughs> T- TVs. No, that's not what I was okay, doing sorry. when I was 16. Well, I, you know, whatever. I think I knew a few. No, 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 no. Each to their own, man. You know, 20 <laughs> bucks is 20 bucks. That's what they were called in the 80s, too, as opposed to now. Anyhow, moving on. Um, uh, Gary says Ice T wasn't really that corrupt, but rapped about it. It's, uh, I don't know, anybody got an opinion on Ice-T? I like him. Yeah. yeah, I'm okay with him. I still have some of his stuff in yeah. my playlist. He was all right in Johnny Mnemonic. <laughs> as Rabbit? He's got one of those faces where he just looks like he's apparently slightly annoyed at something. Yeah, always pissed off. Which is not a bad thing, I suppose, if you're trying to make a public image for yourself as a gangster rapper, you know? Droids, by the oh. way, everybody, Droids plays hockey, if anyone was curious, because well, I know if, all Elizabeth, of you were like... Elizabeth plays underwater hockey, She if does. you're curious. It's, uh, but not with ice above her, so it's probably slightly mm. different. Mm. That's a good thing. That, that'd be hardcore. <clears throat> like reverse hockey. <laughs> Underwater, <laughs> upside down. Markings on the underside of the ice. And Elizabeth's camera has frozen. Elizabeth, please, not on, not please reset your no, camera. It's all right. See, not She's on good. mine. It froze earlier, and she was just blinking like butterflies. I'm like, what is that? And I looked at yours, and it was fine. It's kind of funny. Yeah, we've got a good time going on right here with it. <laughs> it's ah, oh, Bender's into hockey, and Gary's brother played hockey for twenty five fucking years and they got a hip replacement and <laughs> there is, thank you Elizabeth that's so much better. Actually uh we thought ice hockey was too easy so we melted the ring and now we play at the bottom eight feet down and you have to hold your breath the oh. whole time. You know ice hockey rinks are only eight My inches God. deep so that would really suck. Yes. We save water. the ice for our drinks afterwards. It would be anticlimactic, wouldn't it, if you emptied it and it was just like being in a paddling pool. You know, just like, just below knee deep in the water, just everyone vainly threshing around. <laughs> we've we've played in like, like three and a half, four feet. It was horrible. But th- then you could wear like hip waders, Kevin, just like trout <laughs> fishermen playing hockey. <laughs> Hide it would be better if the pool were empty, yet you still had to wear and snorkels, so you just had to like crawl over each other. Do you wear flippers? Do you, do you wear to, to swim? Oh, they are. They're like oh, so yeah, you should wear those in that two and a half feet of water. Flop, 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 flop. No, with no water. <laughs> okay, let's do a closing toast here. We got five right. minutes. Let's, well, we got five minutes left. We're going to wrap this up. We should have started with This Week in History. Ed, do you have anything else in This Week in History speaking of that? No, no. The, oh, the, thank God, because, yeah, that you're is... like, I went short on it, but I think we could stretch it out. Yeah, challenge yeah, accepted. Yeah, we did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ed's like, I'm going to let them talk because I yeah. don't have very much shit this week. <laughs> I, w- I was trying to just put the tip in, but y'all made me go all the way. So. <laughs> no, no, no. We're toasting. <laughs> here's to you. Yeah, here's to an hour lasting time. The fuck? Really? Here's to just that said. <laughs> Here, guys. Here's to you. <sighs> Gary, here's to Jamin, Stone Cold Coffee, <laughs> Bender, Cody, everybody else that didn't say shit. I don't know. Tempe popped in. Tempe, we're so sorry we didn't get to see you this weekend. I you got a link for your book? You can post it up here in the in the thing. Tempe just wrote her second book in her series. She had her book. Um, book signing this weekend, which we really wanted to go to. And By the time I got out of work, it would have been too late to get there. It really was. And what a shit weekend all in all. What a shit weekend. 
But we didn't discuss that. We try to keep it slightly upbeat. Toey totally fucking bailed on us. What the hell, Toey? Yeah. <laughs> I think she really wanted to hear oh, forming oh. a seeker society conversation. She really was into that interest. Um, well, next week? Well, next week, I think if we have a reasonable connection, maybe we can actually do the home brewing. Now, do, Kevin, Elizabeth, do either of you actually know shit about home brewing? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Wine more than beer, but. Elizabeth? A little bit. I mean, I can't give you my favorite recipes or anything, but I know a little bit enough to talk about it. Okay, it's enough, it's enough. I can um, pull up Wikipedia. Oh, look at that. Donna there, T. Caladonna, says, Hey, Tempe, it's great meeting you at RavenCon. Donna, always good to see you. I saw you hanging out. I didn't want to call you out in case you're just lurking and having a good time. But, uh, did you guys go to RavenCon? We did not. We wanted to, to go to Tempe's book launch party or actually just to show her you know hey how are you good to see you way to go all that crap i worked he worked you know yeah Adult. damn it there was jobs and life and you know when you when you oh, finally like she gets home and i'm home and it's seven o'clock at night you're like you know what by the time we get dressed get out there we, it's over an hour to get there tempe's gonna be hiding in her fucking room and not coming out you just described the last 21 years of my life <laughs> that's when you do a hospitality check you show up with drinks you knock on the door and you say room service <laughs> you wear pants for that or not no no okay do i wear pants for that or not no okay no. D depending on mood <laughs> you have strong. to switch pants you and andrea have to switch pants <laughs> it, it's more hospitable if you don't <laughs> it's I, I was wearing my kilt yesterday i had one of my utility kilts and uh I'm thinking about with this job that I'm starting. I'm wondering what their policy is on kilts. Hmm. Because there I, are two ways to find out. <laughs> Do it. Ask or just wear it. Mm. Is it with the previous company that you worked for? Yeah, it, it, we can talk about it. I don't fucking care. Oh, I found yeah, this yeah. great, great headline, by the way. Um, they should I, allow it. They should. I haven't seen any women in skirts, though, so, but I don't remember the hearing them say, don't wear a skirt. So, um, Spending okay. over, picking things up. Uh, Kevin. Uh, yeah, and the problem is? Travis. We're adults here. I, I did a screenshot of a news thing today. 17 feet. That's the length of a python with 73 eggs that scientists caught in the Florida Everglades. I saw that. Did they kill it? Now... Uh, Ed, for you, yeah. this is the headline, and then I'll read the opening line. The headline is, DHS will ask for sweeping authority to deport unaccompanied children. Now, to be clear, in this instance, DHS is not the FedEx company type thing. Which mm. I thought that was great. It's like, wow. Can FedEx and UPS also deport kids? That'd be awesome. <laughs> like this one's unattended. Yeah, in this case, DHS instead of, uh, it stands for Department of Homeland Security. Department of Homeland Security? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Whoa! Go to Brit! <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some closing... star on my copy book this week. Let's get some closing comments here. Uh, Kennedy wears a kilt at work all times. I, I'm stacking boxes. I'm a grunt. I don't know how well it would go. Um... Oh, by the way, Kilt, Cody... kilts are not rigor for forklift operation. I'll warn you that now. Nice. Uh, Cody says, my great-great-grandpa ran moonshine of that counts as home brewing. And then Kennedy says, so was I. I, I don't know what he was so was eyeing about. Uh, were, you, were you at RavenCon? Were you running moonshine? Uh, oh, there's That's... John. John popped in and said, wear it and share it. And Cody says... Hey, John. Yeah, Cody says if you say it's a cultural thing, they most likely let you. Yes, Elizabeth? No, I was just waving at John. Okay. Just say you identify as um, a Scotsman. There we go. Okay, 10 o'clock. I guess we got a bail on this. Let's throw some closing music up here. Heliosphere gun. What the fuck is that? I don't even know what that yeah. is. Let's do this. Thanks for joining us. There's some closing music for you guys tonight. You are the one thing that makes the show. Make sure you join us each evening, guys. Don't forget to join us at the Tavern next week. Andrew and I are playing World of Warcraft most nights. 
have Thursday fun. nights we got our Keep D&D learning, game. Come harass us during that. Copy all the links down the bottom. Here. Follow yeah, us everything below the screen. Share, Thank you, Kevin. Tell other people about us. Bring your other nutters along. And where are you killed? Where are you killed? Or no pants. We're not. Kill's optional. That's right. Pants optional. Just bring bear. Bring bear. We're done. Here's to you guys. Mm-hmm.